Yeah. Yeah. Grown man business. Grown man business. Grown man business. We got another episode of Red Ghost Sports Talk. I'm your host, Red Ghost. Ah. My Miami Hurricanes, baby. We back. We back. You understand that? Okay. Let's get right into it, baby. I've been waiting for this right here. Um, been getting things together for this video. And I got more Miami Hurricane videos I'm going to do. I'm going to wait till tomorrow, but I want to get this discussion going. I want to get these views and likes up. Been watching my other videos. Some of them are a little low, but my Miami Hurricane videos are always high. So I want to get these videos up, baby. I want to get the other videos up as well. You know what I mean? But let's talk about Miami Hurricane. All right, yesterday, last night, this whole weekend's been a great, great weekend, opening weekend for college football. And yes, finally, we get to see the Miami Hurricanes. They played Florida A&M, FAMU. All right, we beat FAMU 70-3. It was a great game. It was a great opening. I've still been hearing all the hate from uh, all the Miami haters. Uh, the team wasn't tough enough, but like I said, man, we talked about Ohio State, who they played, Syracuse, who they played, Michigan, and who they played. Hey, <clears throat> the league, the college, the NWACP is going to get it right. So next year, I'm telling you, because this is already a discussion, it's time to start playing some more quality teams. Uh, I don't want to see not one sorry team or, or less of a team on my schedule anymore after this. So... Yesterday was a great example, and we made a big statement. And yes, we beat the brakes off of FAMU 70 to 3. Now, what I liked about it, man, we don't have just one. We don't have just two. We have three good, great running backs. The running game is strong. They was in a power eye <clears throat> yesterday, and I loved it, man. I love to see that power eye. Yearby had, I mean, two or three big runs. Uh, Walton, uh, he had like two or three big runs. And we, um, Edwards, Gus Edwards, he had two or three big runs too. And all three running backs had 100 plus yards. I love it, man. I love it. But we dominated. We scored. We executed perfect in all levels of the game offense defense and special teams we got pump returns from uh uh what's my boy name uh number eight is it number eight uh uh, uh barretos barreros he had a great pump return for a touchdown and the blocking was so good that you could tell the, the the discipline this year in the miami hurricanes you could see it man i mean they laid the guy out as mouthpiece he don't Man, they, the block was so hard, the hit was so hard, he knocked the mouthpiece out the guy's mouth. I loved it. I, man, I watched the highlights about three times today. And, and, and Barrero's got some speed on him, man. He's a little short guy. Uh, they, the, I think the first punt they had uh, hit FAMU player with a uh, targeting uh, penalty and threw him out the game. You know, hit him uh, helmet first. That was a, a low blow, a bad hit. Um, you gotta move your head to the side always. I'm, I don't like, I really don't like the targeting uh, rules in college now because you can make a mistake and just get thrown out the game. You know what happened with uh, Alabama and SSU, uh, USC last night? That was uh, uh, that was something uh, uh, that was deserved to be penalized and, and kicked the guy out. The USC stepped on the guy, private parts is nuts after. Um, the guy made the tackle from a uh, kickoff. He stepped. I mean, he 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 really stepped on him, man. He he, he kicked, then stepped on him, actually. So he was deserved to get kicked out the game. But a lot of these targeting um, penalties that we've been seeing, even last year, and the guy get thrown out of um, out the game, it's a little harsh. Um, the N the NCAA got to fix that. They got to they got to do better. Uh, Yesterday, you know, when uh, the fam you got hit Barreros, it was it was it was it was worth a a, 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 a flag a penalty. 
I don't think it was worth him getting kicked out. So they should do better. But Barreros made up for that one. He caught that ball and he ran it in. Uh, the defense is looking great, man. They swarm into the ball. They are swarming, and I love that. When you swarm to the ball, it's not one player hitting you. It's three or four or five players hitting you and tackling you. These guys are really hitting. Uh, our safety number four, I'm going to break all these, these players down tomorrow, man. But our safety number four, he, was, he got some good hits in. Number nine was rushing the quarterback on every play. He was in the background with the, with the um, quarterback at almost every play. I love that, man. Uh, they, they, they stopped the run. They blitz. Hey, it's a whole new look with Miami, man. I, I, like, I like what I'm seeing. I like what I'm seeing. They, they seem more disciplined than they've been in the past years. And uh, Kaya, you know, he threw for, what, two or three touchdowns over, uh, what, 200 yards. He ran one in for a touchdown. People forget that he is fast himself. He got, uh, he did a little, uh, well, I think it was a read option or something, and, and ran it in himself. They thought that he was going to run out of bounds, and he just took it in for a score. So it's a lot of discipline on all sides of the ball, on all levels of the game, offense, defense, and special teams. I've been seeing a lot of great blocking. I've been seeing a lot of solid tackling. Oh, man, we back, baby. Don't call it a comeback. Yeah, yeah, I put on the old school look for this one right here, baby. See that? Yeah, this is one of my new hats. That's why I'm wearing it. But anyway, Miami Hurricanes, baby, we back. It's all about the you. Miami forever. Beat Florida State. Beat everybody else. Miami against everybody. Grown man business.